Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of your uh, online uh, fast food delivery project and in this project I am going to add the new uh, controller. Uh, in the last video tutorial I have already discussed about the coupons controller and here we have the added a new coupon and and there is okay so here we have a coupon controller now just I am going to add a new controller for the admin area that is the controller name is a users controller so here we have a empty controller and the name is users controller okay so the name is users controller where your all users are there so here we have the first index method but uh, you know that just I am going to add private read only and it's and application db context and you know that in, in the future videos I just I just I'm going to convert that uh, application db context in the repository section so wait for some times so uh, this is the application db context and just I want to generate constructor so here we have now the in the uh, index section method first of all get admin area uh, because I just I want to get all admins okay so uh, instead of admin just I want to get all users uh, okay so here you can say this is the area of admin area of admin and you can say that index in which you can say where claims identity claims identity equals to claims identity Oops. this is the claims identity and here we have a claim claims identity and that identity actually exists in security system dot security dot claims and claims identity dot I mean to say this dot user dot identity user dot identity now after that we can just get the claim and uh, claims identity claims identity dot find first and claim times dot name identity file so just I want to get the claims value if the claims value I mean to say that uh, ID of the user so return view and in the view you just get underscore context dot application users dot where and what x tends to x dot ID is not equals to claims sorry claim dot value okay so I mean to say that instead of uh, admin the all uh, users are getting okay dot to list okay so here we have now just go for the this and return view is oops okay so everything is fine now just go for the next section that is create add view razor view and template is create sorry list of the user just I want to get and the next one is application uh, application db context you can say or you can say that application user but uh, you know that application user is not there you can say so just get empty without model just I want to add it okay so uh, 
because I want to get all uh, email names and uh, users. Okay, so everything is fine. So now here we have the application user class and just run this application and uh, you will see that uh, your users and uh, in the given list okay so first of all create a new user uh, like register it first of all and email is uh, manage uh, you can say the customer like that of gmail.com Okay, so password is what? Password is uh, customer customer. Okay, so you can say uh, this is the registration process of the customer. So here we have the first customer is created. Now just access that area admin uh, admin users and index. And here we have to deny in area for the customer. So just uh, log in into this area uh, users slash index and just log in into the admin area. And you will see that your account will be accessed by all users. There is a no categories there. So uh, all users, I mean to say that admin will create a new user for the registration process. So here we have the first registration that is email and you can say that uh, just i want to create a manager so um, manager at the rate of uh, gmail.com and uh, okay so uh, that uh, will be created by the manager by the admin okay so uh, here you can say admin users and index that is uh, defined so uh, admin users index and just log in into the admin again so here we have so uh, if you want to get all admins uh, users created by the admins so just you can pass it here so make some changes right in right so if you uh, if you can see that uh, both user are created that is identity user like manager and the customer both user are identity user so first of all just change this user to the application user class and uh, uh, you can say that uh, area that is identity and pages accounts and just go for the register.cshtml file so here we have uh, the default user that is identity user so first of all add some entries uh, in the register.cshtml file and after that you, so you can say that uh, customize the identity user. So here we have a create user that is identity user. So just change the application user class. So uh, okay. In a application user class uh, here we have the name city address and the postal code. So just uh, add name city address postal code first of all. In the input model so name just I want to add it here oops prop string name or you can say just copy and paste from the application user class right here now after that you just go for the next section that is application user class register.cshtml file and in the register.cshtml file here we have register.cshtml file name address cd and postal code so first of all fill the username so name property just i want to add it first so input.name name right here name okay so here we have name password confirm passwords so just use 
city address and the postal code. So here we have the city. address and here we have input this is the it's not a label actually it's not input uh, you can say that text area so remove the not raw and here we have text area so postal code okay so everything is fine now here we have register button and auto complete is also there in the new password in the confirm password very good address is there and uh, in the city we have the autocomplete type is new password so here we have so now uh, your registration page is ready but uh, if admin is logged in if uh, you can say that admin is logged in into the account then you will say that uh, right here you can just add three uh, controls admin can uh, create a new admin admin can create a new uh, now after that just uh, go for the post action method in the post action method first of all get the user by the create uh, user so just go for the definition create user and here you can say that identity user so just convert it first of all application user application user okay so application user is actually exist in the model folder so just copy that folder and paste it here everything is okay now so here we have uh, a user is the application user uh, now after that update properties user uh, dot name is input dot name and user dot city equals to input input dot city user dot address equals to input dot address user dot postal code equals to input dot postal code so everything is clear now after that user is registered or uh, you can say that user manager dot create user with the password now after that you can say um, just of all first of all get uh, the user state string role equals to this and uh, roles is getting from request dot form and you can say that website role dot to string just i want to get the website role on the roles if user is succeeded then user manager by using uh, user manager dot create async if it is succeeded log information created user has a created account with their passwords now after that you can just move user id user manager that get email confirmation token okay and this is the passwords email sender okay everything is clear now just after that so now you can see that uh, here uh, we have roles role is admin then uh, add to role is admin manager and the customer now just go for the return to redirect that is the user and here we have that is the code you can say just comment that section there is a no need and after that you can just go for okay and save this and then your project again if you uh, if you have uh, to add a user 
and you can say that if you are entered into the admin account then you will see that three options that is uh, admin manager and digital customer you can say so admin can create admin also okay and manager can create uh, uh, you can say there is a no manager to create any options to another user so here we have admin at the rate of gmail.com and just go for the admin section users and index and here we have just click on the register button so here we have a list of users like uh, uh, manager one and manager one at the rate of gmail.com password manager and if he is senior and that's senior let's record one two three four five six and just i want to create a new manager just click on the register button and you will see that manager is created and signed in just log out and after the logout you will see that admin and form 